Hello, Stanford Christian Church. Our midweek focus for today is 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. Paul writes, This saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Jesus came into the world to save sinners. This is what we're all about. My prayer is that when you say Stanford Christian Church, people think of this. Jesus came to save sinners. We have failed if the answer is anything else. It's this message. You disobeyed God and you rebelled against Him. Therefore, you deserve death, but God loves you too much for that. He sent His Son Jesus to live a sinless life to be your goodness, to die on the cross to pay your penalty, and to rise again to assure your eternal life. Believe in Him and you will no longer be a sinner destined to perish. But instead, you will be changed, adopted as a child in His forever kingdom. He paid the penalty that you deserved. He fulfilled the law that you could not. Jesus came into this world to save sinners. You know, if you're asked the question, why are you saved? Why should God let me into His kingdom? The answer is because Jesus because Jesus came to save sinners. Not I said that prayer or went to church or I gave enough or I really wasn't that bad. The answer is because of Jesus. Jesus came to save sinners. He did it all. None of us would ever be good enough. The news is good because He will never change. Even when everything else does, no matter how many times I fail, my being saved was, his, was in His hands, and so my remaining so will also be in His hands. No matter if my home or my church is gone, if He takes my family or my job, I will still be okay because Jesus, He still came to save sinners like me. I need you to listen carefully for a moment. Because your faith does not save you. It is Jesus that saves you. His sinless life, His death, and His resurrection. Our faith simply connects us to Him. I want to make sure that we understand that our salvation is all about Jesus and His greatness. I want to make sure that you are trusting completely in Jesus for your salvation and not in something in us. Your this passage has some amazing things to say about God's glory in your salvation. Paul was saved for his own good and his joy, yes. There's great joy in the kingdom of God, but he was primarily saved to show the greatness of Jesus Christ. Verse 16 says, But for that very reason I was shown mercy, so that in me the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience, as an example for those who would believe in Him and receive eternal life. And that's you and me. Your sin is not too great for Jesus. Do you think that your sins or their sins are too big for Him to handle? Please. His promises are always true. I don't know what you've done. I don't know what you've thought. But Jesus does. He knows everything you've done and everything you will ever do. He says that whoever so, whosoever believes will not perish but have eternal life. Repent of your sins and follow Him today. Believe in Him as your God and your Savior and you will be saved. If God is calling you to repent of your sins and to believe, and you, then you need to do that. Don't wait for another second, not even for the end of this video. Just say to Him right now, I believe you are my God, that you died for me and you rose from the dead for me, and commit to obeying Him as your Lord and rejoice because you are His. Message me, call me, because we want to rejoice with you and to help you to follow and enjoy Jesus. Now church, listen, don't you ever give up on someone. If there is someone in your life that you have stopped praying for, you've stopped loving them and declaring the forgiveness through Jesus who came to save the worst of sinners, this passage here is written to you today. If the worst of sinners can be fixed, then anyone can. His grace is always greater than your sin, than your pain. Listen to me. Never say never. 
I wouldn't say that he finds the diamond in the rough, but I know that he can make any old lump of dirt into a diamond. Know this. God is immensely patient. Seek his forgiveness and he will meet you with open arms. Because Jesus came to save sinners, not to attack them and not to hate them. Remember how Jesus, who came to save the worst of sinners, dealt with the sin of an adulterous woman in John chapter 8. The Pharisees are ready to throw stones at this woman until she was dead for committing adultery. But Jesus stood in front of her and he told the one who had not sinned to throw the first stone. As her accusers walked away one by one, Jesus spoke to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. And neither do I condemn you. Jesus declared, Now leave, go now, and leave your life of sin. This woman knew that Jesus wanted something better for her than an adulterous lifestyle. But she learned it when he cared for her and protected her. Jesus came to save sinners. Now follow him, go, and save sinners. Have a good week, guys. God bless.